This lesson shows how it is possible to navigate through the ship deck's data sets to retrieve and to print information using the ship deck's viewer. This is the home page of the ship decks viewer, distributed by the ship decks organization, to allow a powerful navigation through ship decks datasets. Printing capabilities are also included into the viewer. The ship decks viewer can be downloaded, free of charge, from the ship decks registered member area, on www.shipdex.com. This lesson is showing the ship decks dataset, developed for the Falcom 18 in Mars at sea, by courtesy of Furuno Company. This is the dataset used in Lesson 2, to show the structure and the content of a standard ship decks dataset. The ship decks viewer is composed of three main areas, the toolbar, the table of content, the reading pane. The table of content shows the structure of the dataset. The data modules are grouped by information set. Here we have the dataset root, as shown in lesson 2, and four standard information sets. Expanding the description and operation information set, for example, the following descriptive and operational data modules are shown. Every data module is identified by the name of the physical component and the title of the information contained into the data module. Clicking on this button, we obtain the alternative table of content that shows all data modules in order of physical component. This means that for every physical component, all the relevant information is shown together. In this case, the descriptive and maintenance tasks data modules related to the terminal unit are listed together in the table of content. Now, we can go back to the information set table of content and open the descriptive and operation information set. We obtain a list of descriptive and operational data modules. Clicking on a data module, the XML content is automatically converted into HTML format and showed in the reading pane. For instance, we can ask the viewer to show the content of the safety instructions of the Falcom 18. Of course it is possible to scroll up and down the frame to view the whole data module content. This layout is based on the standard ship decks viewer style sheet. This means that all the datasets coming from every manufacturer for every equipment will always have the same layout. A more complex descriptive data module is the InMarsat Communications. In this data module, we can see, just as an example, that this paragraph is referring another data module for more information. Clicking on this hyperlink, the viewer goes to the referred data module and shows its content. From this data module, Clicking on the history button, it is possible to go back to the previous data module. We are back to the InMarsat communications data module. Scrolling down the data module, we can find the link to illustrations. These illustrations are contained into the info object folder of the data set. Clicking on the hyperlink, the illustration is open in a separate window, and it can be resized, moved, copied or iconized. This is the content of the IPD, the illustrated parts data information set. It contains a spare parts catalog, a support equipment catalog, a supplies catalog, Clicking on the spare parts catalog, the reading pane shows the list of the Falcom 18 spare parts. Every rose identifies a single spare part and shows the following most important information. 
position of the spare on the illustration. Manufacturer identification code. Part number of the spare part. Description of the spare part. Quantity on this component. If we open the support equipment catalog or the supply catalog, the structure and the look is always the same. Now, let's give a look at the maintenance tasks of the Felcom 18. Opening the maintenance procedure information set. We have a list of tasks to be performed on the Felcom 18 components. For example, how to replace the fuse of the Felcom 18. Clicking on this data module, the reading pane shows the description of this task. At the top of the frame, the following information is displayed. One or more periodicities for this task. The required support equipment. The required supplies. The required spare parts. In this task, two different fuses are required. The catalog reference shows, for every spare part, the hyperlink to the relevant spare part catalog. Clicking on the hyperlink, the relevant catalog is open, and the spare part is highlighted. Scrolling down the maintenance task frame, we can see other information, like Safety precaution Notes Preliminary operations The body of the task And the close-up operation Please note that in every part of every data module, is possible to create a hyperlink to other data modules. Clicking on this hyperlink, the viewer shows the relevant safety information data module. Many different data modules can link the same safety information data module, without duplication. This means less time to develop the data, and, mostly, less time in updating the information. This is the principle called worm, write once, read many. If we look at another maintenance task, we can see that the structure is always the same because it is based on the mandatory S1000D procedural schema. Until now, we have seen how it is possible to read information selecting the data modules in the table of content. Now let's see how we can retrieve information using the search capabilities. Here we are searching all the data modules with the word, specification, in the title. We obtain a list of two data modules, that we can open as usual. Another possibility is to search a word or a sentence in the whole dataset. In this case we are searching all the data modules with the words, power supply unit. Once again, we obtain a list of data modules, that we can open as usual. The shipped X viewer has also powerful printing features. Print a single data module. Print a selection of data modules. Print the whole dataset. Now we are asking the shipped X viewer to convert into PDF the current single data module. Clicking on the button, the conversion to PDF format is activated. The conversion from XML into PDF takes few seconds. At the end of the conversion, a perfect PDF file is created, and it is ready to be printed. This is how a PDF manual, created from a shipdex dataset, looks like. The table of content. The list of tables. 
and the list of illustrations were created automatically, and every element has a hyperlink to the relevant page, or table, or illustration. This is how a PDF manual, created from a shipdex dataset, looks like. I hope you have now a better understanding of Shipdex protocol. If you need more information, please do not hesitate to contact the Shipdex technical manager at this email address. Webmanager at shipdex.com